Looks like swinging around that hammer paid off for Ronan, because he's a beefcake now. Beefcake! Beefcake! Let's check out a Ronan the Accuser deck in this installment of... Oh my god, this deck is cracked. <laughs> What's up, nerds? So, this deck mixes the raw power of Maximus and Ronin and Miss Marvel with the location control of Echo, Goose, and Storm. And since this deck has pretty good stats early on in the game, we hold priority a lot. So that enables Negasonic and Eliath to slam the door on the opponent before they have a chance to come back and win. Replacements, if you don't have uh, Miss Marvel or Iron Lad, you could try out um, Jessica Jones in that slot because it pairs up really well with Storm. But that's the deck, it's time for games. Okay, general rule with this deck is don't play Goose in the middle. Boo. Uh, we can definitely play it at Shadowland, that's fine. Yeah, sure, I'll take a Sunspot. Ugly ass Sunspot. Blech. Blech. Okie doke. It's actually totally fine. Um... So I think we're cool with discarding one of the Sentinels. Yeah, let's just do this. That could... That could just... Yeah. I could just win the game over there. A Blade and Sunspot. I'm going to assume this is a uh, Black Knight deck. That's a Hella deck. Okay. Hella deck with Sunspot and Lockjaw. All right. <clears throat> Um, let's go ahead and miss Marvel. I think Ronan's going to be terrible here, but, uh, yeah, let's miss Marvel because it's going to be five in the middle and five at Hellfire. So that's cool. Cool. Um, so we can go Mystique into Sentinel and then finish the game with Ronin in the middle, mayhaps. Okay, um, maybe, actually, I think we just might do a tricksy little full float on the flooding. Yeah. I'm gonna not do anything <clears throat> and hope that sunspot gets big enough to win the flooding. I don't think they can beat Hellfire Club. <laughs> they can beat Hellfire Club. Yeah, just full float, sunspot wins. <laughs> Wasn't even my deck that one. It was basically their sunspot. Well, I guess Miss Marvel and Mystique, but cool. Um, yeah, there's Echo over there. Sure. Sure. Sometimes Echo is just good just to like make people not want to play there for a turn or two and then storm it. Okay, nope. This looks like a priority game into a Lyoth, so we will... Let's storm where Echo... No, let's not storm where Echo is. Let's storm in the middle. Storm in the middle, we miss Marvel in the middle. Okay, I'm cool with... Ooh, that's good for us. That's super good for us. Um, now we pretty much just win Scar. Miss Marvel here, and then we can copy Miss Marvel on the left. Yeah, this is easy peasy. Oh, okay. Not as easy peasy as it seems. However, uh, we should be able to win thanks to the Maximus. So yeah, we do this. And then we can Eliath 
on the last turn. Oh. Okay, we still just Eliath in the middle. Well, I mean, that was, that was tricky, but I don't think it changes anything. Cool. Ronan really is... Two, two power doesn't seem like a lot, but... So is he, he's a big boy now. Major Hoyts. Hoyt. Hoyt Fortenberry. <laughs> um... Wherever I play Nebula, I'm going to Storm. So playing Nebula at Wakanda is not really that good because I'm just going to want to Storm away the Wakanda anyway. So protection from Killmonger is therefore nullified. Um, I suppose we can Goose over there. Something's getting pulled. Alright, it's Goose. Um... Well, crud. Well, crud. Alright, let's just storm the Great Web, otherwise this is going to be a nightmare all day. Wind, aid my hand. Okay, well, Goose is completely irrelevant. However, this is pretty great. And then we just Mystique there too. Zabu and Bast, huh? Oh, a negative list. Okay. Um. Yeah. I would usually be like, oh, let's just play Mystique over there. But. I guess I can do that on the last turn of the game. I was gonna say, I, a Negasonic on the last turn of the game. I kinda want a Negasonic here now. I don't care about doubling Miss Marvel. We already won the flooded, I think. So let's just Negasonic there. Ah, oh, we got him. Hopefully it's an Iron Man or something. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, Master Mold early, always solid. Show me what you got. Breaking news. That's fine. Don't discount anything. Let's play Mold in the middle. That's a cool background. Alright, looks like we're playing against uh, Ronin deck as well. Uh, which means our Mobius is completely pointless. Um, let's do Echo over there. To stop him from playing Ron in there. Oh my god. Okay, I think we can uh, safely Iron Lad here. Is that my Iron Lad? Yeah, it is. I don't think. Um, Gladiator and Ronin is too great because um, they are, uh, you're pulling cards out of their deck, so they might, like you play Baron, Maximus, and uh, the other one, Master Mold, you, yeah. Um... Is this good? Do we have priority? We do not have priority. So that's a... That sucks. <laughs> um, we can go Miss Marvel here and Maximus here. That's pretty good. Even if he has Elias and he Elias or Maximus over there, we should still win.
Okay, well, we win the left and the right, so yeah. <laughs> cool. That was a good game. Um, uh, this is not good. Mostly because, okay, well, that's good. But mostly because, uh, well, I don't know. I, I, I'm just I'm talking. Let's just play the game. You shut up. You shut your mouth. You just shut, shut, shut up. Just shut your mouth. I mean, this deck is geared to beat the Thanos stuff, but Quantum Tunnel, I would say, is much better for him than me. Well, it is two important cards to lock games out. No longer. Let's go Negasonic here. We go Miss Marvel in the middle. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Well, we should be able just to win Nid of Valir with a Miss Marvel in the middle, a Ronan on the left, and then a Mystique somewhere else. Yeah, this is great. I'm gonna do this. Because I, I think just Ronin into Master Mold is enough. I don't want to do the math, but I'm pretty sure it's enough to win Nid of Valir. Oh yeah, I forgot he played Time Stone. Boo. <laughs> the rethink stuff. Oh wow. Yeah, okay, never mind. Um let's run in. Let's run in Atlantis. Cause we're gonna have to get rid of the buff anyway, so let's just do that. Yep. And uh, hopefully we hold priority. Okay, yeah, we still have priority. So even if he blobs or something. Great. We just win Grand Central, because he can't play anything big there. And uh, this one's Atlantis, because he's going to blob there for sure. If he has blob, he'll blob there. Nope. <laughs> Hello again. Thanks for making it this far. Um, yeah, this deck just feels like a generically solid deck. Uh, much like those Devil Dino Darkhawk lists from seasons past, where it was just like they didn't do anything extraordinary, but they just felt solid, like in most matchups. That's what this deck feels like, and I enjoy it. Of course, my build here is a little cute with the Goose and the Echo and the Negasonic. Um, there's some other types of Ronin lists that are just doing, you know, like Baron Mordo or Gooses, and then uh, I don't know, whatever they put in that three drop slot instead. Um, but yeah, maybe if you want like um, a less tricky to use version, try those. But um, I personally like this. I, I just like having proactive location control because it lets you, you get bailed out of games when your regular game plan doesn't go as you'd like. But yeah, that's the end of this video. Later on, nerds. Hoyt Fortenberry.